You should be proud of me. This for the ones who doubted me. I come to buy like an athlete. Yeah, is this what it gotta be? Huh? They What's up, y'all? It's your girl, my angel, Madame, and we are back with another video. And this video is a institution video. Um, we're gonna just be doing a few different things. If you are a new institution, or if you are have already been an institution, you have an institution basis already. This is just me dropping a few tips that I feel like you should know when starting out. So. Um, if you feel like you need some tips on SD work, definitely pay attention. Keep watching. All right, y'all. So today we're going to be talking about waxing. Waxing, waxing, waxing. And I have my Gigi wax machine with me. And you all, I'm going to show you the first wax machine I ever bought. So it's going to be looking pretty scary. But we have our wax machine right here. We have our different wax sticks. So um, these are just a few wax sticks. Um, you have your medium sized sticks, the larger sticks. Like I will use these for Brazilians or if you're waxing legs. Um, and then you have your skinnier sticks like this one. And yeah, this is my personal stuff. I would not use this for my clients. Um, these, I will use this for like eyebrows, maybe lip, something of this sort. These I will use maybe for face or something like that, okay? So, so the my favorite sticks to use when I'm waxing large parts of the body will be this stick. Make sure before you place your wax onto any clients, make sure that you test your wax out. And this is the way that you would test your wax. So again, check for your consistency. Make sure that you have the right consistency, which for your wax, you want your consistency of the wax to be more like honey. So more like honey and not too runny. <laughs> like that, more like honey, not too runny. So this is just a simple way to try to cool your wax without blowing it. Because <laughs> when you're waxing somebody, they're not going to want you blowing your air and put spit all over the wax and before you place it on them, okay? So as you can see, my wax is thick, thicker, but not too thick. Because if it's too thick, that means it's too cool. And if it's too cool, that means that it will not rip off the hair. And it's going to probably give you a hard time to try to get it off the skin. Okay, so make sure that your consistency is right. And so what I like to do is I like to cut the temperature all the way up and let it melt. Again, this is the very first wax machine that I bought um, before I even went to esthetician school. So this is all reliable. I do not use this wax machine on anybody else but me. So as you can see, I have old wax on it. And so this is not what I use for my clients, okay, disclaimer. All right, so let's go ahead and test the wax. You always want to test your wax before applying it to your uh, client's skin because you do not want to burn them. All right, so I'm just going to get some more wax. I'm going to cool it down some. And then you're going to test it on your wrist, okay? So you want to test it on your wrist just because it's one of the most sensitive parts of your skin. So let's just go ahead and test the wax. All right, and make sure that you create yourself a lip. A lip would be like this corner, that corner, because you need a lip so you can be able to rip the wax off, okay? So you want to create an area to where you can rip your wax off, and you're just going to let it cool. For me, this temperature is perfect. Um, it's not too hot, not too cool. It's just the right temperature to be able to rip off the wax. I mean, to rip off the hair, okay? So we're just going to let it dry. And the way you test to see if it's dry, you can kind of look at it, but sometimes you might want to do a light touch. And for me, this is dry. So since this is dry, I'm just going to go ahead and rip it off. Oh, I got a cramp in my hand, you all. All right, so I just ripped it off. It should be no hair because there's no hair here. But usually when you rip off um, your wax, you're going to see like the hair follicles in the hair, okay? So this is how you test out your wax temperature. So make sure that you always test out your wax temperature before you apply your wax to your clients, okay? Test the wax temperature. Test it first. Test it. No matter how much you think that you know that the temperature is right, test it still because you do not want to burn anybody's skin, okay? So if you like the videos just like this, little tips about esthetician work or facials, makeup, um, steps to lead to the process. If you are a new esthetician 
or you already have your own esthetician business, definitely comment down below. Let me know. And if there's any videos that you would like to see, also let me know, okay? Like, follow, and subscribe. My Angel Madom. And also check out my skincare company, True Herbal Therapy, and my hair company, The Virgin Hair Temple. All right, guys. I hope you like this video. Subscribe. Delete, yeah. Is this what it gotta be, huh?